This is Jessica Burgess from Eastern Virginia Medical School in Norfolk, Virginia. I will be discussing several East landmark studies regarding the diagnosis and management of adhesive small bowel obstructions. The first landmark paper discusses the timing of operative intervention for adhesive small bowel obstructions. This large retrospective study of the nationwide inpatient sample database examined the timing of surgery for over 4,800 patients who underwent surgical intervention for their adhesive small bowel obstruction. The authors found that a delay in surgery of four days or longer was associated with an increase in mortality and longer postoperative stay. They did not find a difference in overall complications or need for bowel resection in relation to the timing of surgery. The authors concluded that their study supports the practice of not delaying surgical intervention for small bowel obstructions for more than three to five days. The next landmark paper comes from the East Small Bowel Obstruction Work Group and is a multi-institutional prospective study comparing the use of a gastrographin challenge protocol for the management of small bowel obstructions as compared to a protocol that did not utilize a gastrographin study. This was a prospective observational study that included 316 patients. 55% of patients underwent a gastrographin small bowel series as part of their management, and 45% were followed with standard management and monitoring of bowel function. The authors found that patients that underwent a gastrographin challenge had a lower rate of surgical exploration and a shorter length of stay. There was no difference in the need for surgical bowel resection in patients that required an operation and no difference in overall complications. The authors concluded that a small bowel obstruction protocol utilizing a gastrographin challenge should be used in the management of adhesive small bowel obstructions that do not require immediate operative intervention. This next paper by Lavard and colleagues looks at the safety and outcomes of patients undergoing laparoscopic management of adhesive small bowel obstructions. This was a retrospective study that examined 308 patients that underwent laparoscopic surgical intervention for their adhesive small bowel obstruction. They found an overall rate of conversion to open of 45%. They then compared successful laparoscopic patients to those that required a conversion to open. They found that patients that had undergone only one or two prior surgeries were more likely to undergo successful laparoscopic surgery for their bowel obstruction. Early intervention less than 24 hours from presentation was also associated with a greater chance of successful laparoscopic intervention. The authors found that laparoscopy was more successful in patients that had only undergone an appendectomy previously or had never undergone prior surgery. When comparing successful versus non-successful laparoscopic patients, laparoscopic patients had an overall shorter postoperative ileus, shorter postoperative length of stay, and less wound complications than their open counterparts. Within the limits of a retrospective observational study, the authors concluded that laparoscopic surgery should probably be limited to those patients seen early on in their presentation, those with less than three prior surgeries, and especially those having only undergone an appendectomy previously. The final article from Dr. Aquina and colleagues from the University of Rochester addresses whether patients with adhesive small bowel obstructions are best managed by a medical or a surgical service. This study utilized a statewide database to look at all patients between 2002 and 2013 that were admitted with a small bowel obstruction in the state of New York. Over 100,000 admissions were included in this study. They found that 43% of admissions were primarily managed by a medical attending and 57% were managed by a surgical attending. After controlling for patient, physician, and hospital factors, Patients who are managed by a medical service had a longer length of stay, higher costs, and higher rate of 30-day readmissions for those managed non-operatively. For those who underwent an operative intervention, management by a medical team was associated with a delay to operative intervention, 
increased risk of readmission and higher rates of 30-day mortality. The authors concluded that while it may be helpful to have medicine team involvement in the perioperative care and medical optimization of these patients, patients who are admitted for adhesive small bowel obstructions should be managed primarily by a surgical service. Please consider checking out the other landmark papers concerning the diagnosis and management of small bowel obstructions at the East Landmark Papers website at the link below.